Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Agave Talk, your number one source for everything agave. Today we are jumping into a fan favorite. This is Tequila Fortaleza Blanco Still Strength. Yes, the alcohol content on this is supposed to be as if you got it straight from the still, from the distillery, as if you were in tequila itself. So we're about to jump into this bottle. Before we do that, as always, do us a favor, follow us across all social media networks. And if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and like this video. We truly appreciate it. So this bottle of Tequila Fortaleza itself, great bottle. Get up close to this label. Uh, you got Tequila Los Abuelos. So over in Mexico, it's not actually called Tequila Fortaleza. It's actually called Tequila Los Abuelos. Uh, we got a cool little picture going up here. The area of distillation with Sandy and Choco. Okay. Cool little artwork above there. If you've never noticed, all the bottles of Fortaleza actually have some different artwork up at the top. Um, go check out if you do have a bottle. It This is going to look different uh, if you're looking at like the Blanco itself, the Winter Blend, the Añejo Reposado. This is going to be a different picture, so kind of cool. We got the, the little dogs up in there in the corner. You'll notice 46% alcohol. We got their Crest Tequila Fortaleza coming out of NOM1493. Made in Mexico, and this is that still strength. It's kind of metallic in, uh, in color. It kind of reflects the light, as you can see right there. This is that handmade glass blown bottle let me pull the bottle up itself i've actually been to the distillery i've seen them having the glass blown there packaging it labeling it all by hand uh, the bottle itself very very thick glass on the back i'm gonna bring the camera up so this still strength Got a little story going on there to still strength 46% or 92 proof is historic because this is how tequila was enjoyed for over 125 years ago by my great great grandfather. Most liquors nowadays it's that 40% um, alcohol, that 80 proof. So this right here it's a little higher in alcohol proof, uh, but it's it's oh my gosh the flavor on this is absolutely incredible. So just kind of your, your normal packaging at the bottom. We got that lot number. This is lot number 075. Um, and the last real standout of all the Fortaleza bottles is actually their cork. So we got the neck band here, but this handmade piña cork in the shape of an actual agave piña. So we're going to open this bad boy up. And as always, let your bottles pop. This one, it's more of a let your bottle twist. <laughs> Um, unfortunately, my cork, um, it's really long. Fortaleza has long corks, and this one actually kind of broke off, so I had to cut it a little bit. So if you're ever opening the bottle of Fortaleza, pro tip, twist the cork. Don't pull on the cork. All right, so we're going to set this aside. I'm going to bring my sniffer glass, and we're going to pour a little bit into here. I'm going to take a, take a smell, tell you what I smell, take a sip, tell you what I taste, and uh, we'll go from there. But Tequila Fortaleza is a fan favorite. Personally, I love the stuff. Uh, <clears throat> if you go to their website, they do have a description of this Still Strength blend. Uh, let me kind of swirl it around, get a look at those those tears and legs. I know you guys can't see it. I, don't, I never show. It doesn't really show up that well on video. But um, it kind of dissipates really fast. doesn't really stick around. Uh, Smell wise, getting agave straight, straightforward. It's that blanco, but it's a higher proof, so you get a little bit of an alcohol smell, but you would expect a whole lot more. You, it's it's it gives way as as the glass sits there and opens up. I haven't tasted it yet, but as the glass sits there and the liquid starts to open up. You're really getting that intense agave flavor, which I know Fortaleza is known for. So from their website, it actually also says you get aromas of fruit, baked, fully ripened agave. Absolutely. 
green olive and earth like notes so definitely earthy mm. it says slightly brighter and a touch more rustic than a regular blanco the accents of butter olive earth black pepper and vegetal qualities in the flavor are enhanced because it comes straight from our small copper pot still without adding water prior to bottling so let's take a sip Ah, I love this stuff. <laughs> this, and it, it, it's, if you've had the Blanco, absolutely, if you ever find a bottle of this stuff, um, try to get a bottle, try to secure one. You might fall in love with this more so than just the regular Blanco. It's, it's a different taste. I do have the regular Blanco here. It's, it is that more rustic, that more in your face, that more raw kind of taste uh, because it's not watered down. Beautiful, beautiful tequila. Again, this is some great juice. Um, highly recommend it. If you ever get a chance to visit the factory, go do it. If you ever see a bottle, pick it up. Absolutely. Um, I, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm definitely a fan. So, this is it for this episode. We truly appreciate you being here. As always, follow us across all social media networks, as well as subscribe and like this video if you haven't done so already. With that being said, let your bottles pop. Take care, everybody.